Hello STEM engineers. Today's lesson is going to be about helicopters and we're going to talk a little bit more about air friction or drag. Now we've talked about force, um, the force friction before, how when two surfaces are rubbing together they create friction and that slows objects down. Now most of the time in class we're trying to reduce friction, like when we build cars and we roll them down my ramp. But today we want there to be friction and a special type of friction called drag. This type of friction is going to help helicopters stay in the air. Now, air friction kind of sounds like a strange term. I mean, if I wave my arms around in the air, there doesn't seem to be anything pushing back on me. But if you think about a different situation, um, imagine you're outside running and the wind picks up, a really strong wind, and you're running right into the wind. All of a sudden, you're gonna notice that there's some resistance pushing back on you and that resistance is air friction or drag. Now that air is pushing you back. Now for airplanes and helicopters, this can be very useful because that force is pushing up on the wings of the helicopter and is helping it to stay airborne longer. Or you could picture a kite. A kite uses the wind's pressure to hold it up. Today's lesson is going to be about making bunny helicopters. So you're going to need this sheet that I sent home in the original packet. Now we call these helicopters instead of gliders or paper airplanes because the ears of the bunnies make rotors like on a helicopter. And how you make them is you're going to take and cut out one of the rectangular bunny copters. And then what you want to do is to cut on the dashed lines between the ears and then right over the shoulders. And then you're going to fold on the solid lines. That's at the base of each ear, folding one forward and one backward. And then you're going to fold both of the arms backward on the shirt sleeves. And then you're going to use your paper clip, of which I still don't have any paper clips, so I'm back to using bobby pins. And place the um, paper clip on the bottom holding the arms back. Now that paper clip is going to serve two purposes. One, it's going to hold your bunny copter together and two, it's going to provide a center of gravity so that when you drop it, this heaviest part is going to be pulled toward the ground. Now our goal is to make our bunny copter travel a little bit because when I drop it, you're going to see it tends to fall straight down. So if you get a chance, I'd love for you to take these outside and test them and maybe stand on the top of the steps, if you can, your porch and drop them and see how they travel. Because um, the bunny copters remind me of the shape of maple seeds. And when maple seeds fall from a tree, the idea is that you want them to travel away from the original tree. So they have a chance at getting sunlight and water if they start growing somewhere. So nature designed maple seeds a little like the top of the bunny copters so that they can catch a breeze and blow far away from where they were dropped. Now, if you're able to drop them outside, see if there's a breeze that carries them a little bit away from you or if they fall straight down and let me know. Um, our record so far for the farthest traveling one, we dropped one off the top of the tallest slide at Moore Street School on the playground and we watched it get caught by an updraft and it went about a quarter of a mile before we lost sight of it but that thing took off so sometimes they can travel quite a distance usually they just travel a few feet away up to 10 12 feet from where we originally dropped it so give it a test and let me know if it traveled any distance for you Now my students who are in first through fifth grade, you've already made bunny copters once. So today I'm gonna to give you a slightly different challenge. We're gonna experiment with these bunny copters and see how changing them changes their flight pattern. I'm gonna go through eight different steps. Those steps are in the worksheet I've attached to this assignment, but you don't have to complete the worksheet and turn it in. It's just to give you a reminder of what those steps are. So step one is create a bunny copter and test it. Step two, when you drop it, I want you to observe whether it is spinning clockwise or counterclockwise. Then for step three, fold the ears in the opposite direction, drop it, and observe once again, did it go clockwise or did it go counterclockwise? Then for step four, I want you to try and drop the bunny head first and see what happens. Step five, drop the bunny at a 90 degree angle. That's so that it's kind of parallel to the floor, except the ears need to be folded out again. Drop it at this angle. Now for step six, 
fold Bonnie's ears up together. Oh, I forgot to bring my scissors over here. But you're going to cut about an inch off the top of the bunny's ears and drop them and see what happens. For step seven, you're going to cut another inch of the bunny's ears off and see how that changes their descent. Then you can throw this bunny copter away because you're pro probably done with it. Save your paper clip though, or bobby pin. Now, step eight, I'd like you to design your own bunny copter. And now a bunny copter, this one um, with rotors at the top and the bottom. So a bunny copter is nothing more than a rectangle that you've cut a little bit down the top, a little bit up from the bottom, and then folded things forward and back. And then drop this and see what it does. Now this last step is just for my fourth and fifth graders, but anybody who wants to try it can try it. Um, I want you to design three original helicopters and test them. Now, if you get stuck for ideas on this one, make a traditional bunny copter, only make it really small or make it really big or use heavier paper or if you have um, like some cereal box material, try making it out of that, see how it comes out differently. Um, you can also try a bunny copter that has three rotors at the top, although with this one I couldn't use a paper clip on it because it ended in a triangle, so I ended up taping it together. So you may need some tape um, if you're using that design. So those are some different ideas. Um, heavier, lighter, bigger, smaller, extra rotors, um, rotors at the top and bottom, any of those things to try something different and see how they fly compared to the original. Might even have a little race between a few of them and let me know which one works the best. Okay, um, have fun with this assignment. I hope you enjoy it and play around with it a little bit and have a great week.